For the first six or seven years that Google Earth was around, uh, the imagery looked great when you zoomed in, but viewing high above the Earth as we are here, things looked very patchy and splotchy, as you can see where they put in the high resolution imagery uh, from different time periods, different times of the year and stuff. And while they still do that deep down, they've now colored the Earth so it looks very smooth and a lot more realistic when viewed up high. There's a few things we can do if we're going just for realism to make it look even better. So some things like the roads, um, borders we have on here are very useful certainly, I leave them on most of the time, but let's see what we can do just to make this look as realistic as possible. So first thing we can do, if you have any of your places turned on up here, the places are temporary places, uncheck all those, make sure they're disabled. Same thing with the layers, let's uncheck all the layers. We'll turn off the borders, turn off the roads, and that's looking a lot better already, it's looking more, more realistic. But of course, if you were to look above the United States right now, or anywhere in the world really, you'd see clouds. So, fortunately, Google added that a few years ago. If we look at the weather layer, we don't want to enable the whole layer because it has forecasts and radars and things. But if we expand it down, just turn on the clouds, hey, now we're looking even better. So we'll pull out a little bit. You can see it's looking a lot more like a real globe, but there's a few more things we can do that'll help. Um, I tend to leave the atmosphere feature turned on. It looks nice, especially when zoomed in and viewing from hard angles. But right now, um, it doesn't look realistic, so let's turn it off. That's under View, Atmosphere, and I turn that off. And then one more cool thing we can do is Google has a night and day mode. You can turn on the sun, and it'll affect what's light and what's dark on the Earth um, as it is right now. So we can just click the little sunshine icon here. And this is actually real time, like where's dark and where's light uh, across the globe. It's kind of cool to see it that way. And the end result takes a little minute to load in the clouds from time to time, but when you stop, you end up with a very realistic, realistic looking globe thanks to the, the great new imagery in Google Earth and all of their other features. So if you want to show it off, make it look real pretty, this is a great way to do it. Obviously I would encourage you to use some of the layers and places and things to get the most out of Google Earth, but every now and then it's fun just to kind of browse around and explore you know, a relatively unedited Earth here. So I hope that helps. Thanks.